Last weekend on my live stream, I asked you guys which bike I should kind of do a refresh on for this week's show. People were voting primarily for the Mojo 3 to get the refresh. This is the remnants of my Medium Mojo 3. I basically put this thing together for the Mojo 3 video. But there weren't any larges available. The bike hadn't yet been released. So I rode a Medium and mediums are super fun. They are not as fast for me as a large, but they are more playful. I've got some new stuff and some old stuff that I think will totally change the characteristics of this bike. So there is one really important question I need to ask. Will I ride this bike more and will I like it more? With the bigger front triangle, I really liked it in Arizona, but was that a fluke? Like, will I actually like this thing here in Bellingham? Totally different than Arizona. I pulled this out of the box last weekend on the live stream, so some of you already know what's coming, but I've got a size large front triangle here, which I'm gonna swap onto this medium. It's gonna fix one really important thing for me, and that's getting that front center measurement, the wheelbase, lengthened quite a bit. I'm looking for more stability in this bike, and this is gonna help. All right, next up. We were going to unbox these during the live show last weekend, but my computer ran out of battery. We are unboxing them right now. I think these are the new wheels that we'll put on this bike. Let's check them out. Oh, here we go. I've got some blue stickers. All right, let's see what else we got here. Oh, oh, oh. wheel one and wheel number two. All right. Yes, the stickers are all one piece now, sweet. These have the IBIS logo hubs on them, which from my experiences have worked pretty well. I'm used to riding the Industry 9 hub, so this is gonna be a lot quieter. Looks like I just lost an end cap. I can't believe how many, <laughs> if that thing takes the end cap off, you'd be blown away at how many folks will call saying they've got wheels that didn't come with end caps. Oh man. <laughs> so it's a boost rear wheel. My front hub is not boost. Let's find out about this one. 108.62 millimeters. Boost front wheel. I can't use it. I don't have a fork that'll work with those carbon wheels. The 34 on this bike is still a 100 width non-boost space. I need some wheels to ride in the interim. I think these old WTB frequency wheels will have to do. The front one's non-boost, the rear one is a boost hub. So they should fit this bike. They've already got a cassette, they've already got rotors, good to go. I need to put tires on and it's been incredibly wet. I think I might actually run a mud spike in front, cut down. When you cut a mud spike, it's actually a lot safer in the hard pack stuff because those big side knobs can't squirm. So cut down mud spikes are really nice around here where a lot of stuff still is fairly hard pack even when it's pouring rain. I got a Vigilante tire that I might put in the rear. It's a high grip, so lots of braking traction, really good on steep climbs. That might be a nice setup for now and just put those on the old wheels until I get a fork. So another really cool thing I'm gonna do to this bike is upgrade the seat post. I've got this Fox transfer post. It should fit great on the Mojo 3. So this will be a nice little upgrade, fresh seat post, really stiff, really precise. I like these Fox posts a lot. You'll notice this bike's missing its rear derailleur entirely, and that's because it got shredded in Phoenix at South Mountain when I was riding with Rob Drew. I don't know what happened, but it caught the spokes and it just, whoonk, it got mangled. So, fresh XT M8000 series 11 speed rear derailleur. I also got a fresh set of XT pedals, which is real important. Nothing is better than a brand new chain, especially if you put it on the right direction. So we're gonna do that. I mentioned that the seat post with remote broke. I have a freshie here. Thank you, Falk. E13 sent me something really cool. So let's pop this package open. They always send something neat. So let's see what's in here. Yeah. Got a bunch of stickers. These are awesome. E13, what do we got in here? Yes. Awesome. Bash guards with chain guides. Yes. I want to do more trial stuff in 2018, and that's going to mean smashing the living daylights out of these bash guards. So, three bash guards, one with a carbon back plate. Holy smokes. I wonder which one's strongest. I don't know. So, three of those. Sweet. Thank you, E13. I appreciate it. 
All right, let's dive into this bike build and see if we can knock it out. Stay tuned. Will it still feel all poppy and fun with the longer front triangle? I don't know. Oh. Hopefully it feels better. I actually do have an extensive hammer collection and I kind of want to put it on the wall because I have so many. Alright, here's the moment. Frame is getting broken down. Boom! Front triangle. Let's get that bottom bracket out and start getting the new one together. The torque specs on bottom brackets are something like 34 Newton meters and that is a ton. There we go! Large front triangle. Sweet! Thing like a giant BMX bike. And I want to get after it and I'm going to use the bash guard. So, wiggle that on, wiggle that on. Toss this guy through. That was quite easy. First mock-up, see if we're doing this correctly. Now, let's see how it fits once the shock's on, because that's going to change the top-out position of the swing arm. Realize I need to rotate this thing back a little bit, so I'm not going to clamp those down until I have a wheel and chain in there to be sure I get it at the right angle. So I haven't changed the tires out yet. I still just have old whatever tires. Let's take this thing for a spin and see how it feels. All right, first little pedal on the new bike. Let's see how it does. All right, suspension is still set up for my wife. The seat is maybe too high, but I think my 5'10 shoes might actually mean that the seat height's workable. And I can always try a Silverado saddle, it's a little bit lower. 